On the Crime Watch, police departments on the Monterey Peninsula say that the stay-at-home order is impacting crime. They're seeing increases in burglaries and also odd behavior. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad live from Monterey right now. Caitlin. Well, Dan, a lot of this looks to be opportunistic crime. That's according to police departments. Criminals are noticing businesses are vacant and they are taking the opportunity to steal. We've seen an increase in burglaries and in thefts, like substantially. Deputy Chief Nick Borges with the Seaside Police Department says criminals are breaking into parked cars and sheds and stealing valuables and tools in great numbers. In Carmel, they're going after vacant businesses and construction sites. With all the businesses closed down at night, it's just a more of an opportunity for burglars and people looking to victimize our community coming here to do that. Chief Paul Tomasi says they're also seeing an increase in strange behavior. What's bizarre is we're seeing people who normally handle stress on an everyday level pretty well starting to get a little bit stressed out and their behavior is a little bit weird. Tomasi said the bizarre behavior ranges from small acts of defiance during traffic stops to calls to help those with mental health issues who are having breakdowns. As for violent crime, there have been some out of the ordinary crimes on the peninsula. Last week, a 61-year-old woman was sexually assaulted and beaten with a gun in her driveway in Carmel. And in late April, a man broke into a home in Monterey and attacked a couple with a shovel. But police say while these attacks are not normal, they can't attribute the crimes to the stay-at-home order. Monterey is generally a very safe community. That doesn't mean that uh, we don't experience, unfortunately, some violent crime or some crimes of those natures. I don't have any information that those specific crimes had anything to do uh, necessarily with coronavirus. Or Police say what is a direct result of the pandemic is the opportunistic crime they're seeing related to businesses being vacant and people staying home, as well as a deepening desperation among people who are out of work and struggling with mental health and addiction. But I also think people are struggling and people are really starting to be impacted by the shelter in place. And there are people out there that are just trying to survive. And unfortunately, they resort to theft or burglary to try to sustain that. Police say across the board they have been noticing that there are a lot fewer people or a lot more people who are not following the shelter in place order to a T. They say if you are approached about that and as an everyday citizen, just keep in mind police are there to educate you and they hopefully want to work with you, not against you. Reporting live in Monterey, Caitlin Conrad, KSBW Action News 8.